Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Neff from Nez Tech, but today we're checking out the Lenovo ThinkPad E14 unit. This is the i5 fifth generation, and uh, it's definitely somewhat for the budget conscience. Uh, it feels like we have aluminum here. Of course, it's that kind of plastic that just feels like aluminum. And here, once I get to the desktop, this is one thing I don't really care about what other people seems to. Uh, the keyboard flex. This thing doesn't really flex much at all. It really feels like we have metal bindings between the keys. It just doesn't flex very much, which is good. Of course, we have the old school IBM uh, knob. We have the giant trackpad. Click, 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 click. Just like that. USB style charger. USB, USB. Uh, HDMI headset. One single headset in. One USB network cable. And then a lock on the other side. And that's about all we got here. Of course, we're far from the days when we used to be able to have DVD drives in all of these systems. And it seems like it's relatively easy to get into. On the bottom, up here, of course, since we live in this day and age, we have a uh, camera slider so that the feds can't watch you. They can still listen to you, though. So remember, if you're going to be disabling that, you might want to disable the microphone, which is probably going to be one of these dots up here. As you can see here, we have for the display driver an Intel UHD graphics. That means it's going to be pulling from the RAM. And the RAM we have 8 gigabytes, so that's relatively good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 8, 8 cores, octo cores at 1.6 uh, gigahertz i5, of course. So let's see what kind of power we can actually expect to pull down off this thing. Once I got Grand Theft Auto loaded on this thing, I am going to run a benchmark with uh, PC mark benchmark okay and let's start off with the DirectX 9 test we are going at 17 we've got 25 frames per second cruising around next up of course DirectX 10 we are getting five six frames per second at 1080 here we have the DirectX 11 test we got uh, 20 frames per second not so bad with the space jellyfish. Next up, of course, Direct X12. I'm getting uh, 11 frames per second here. So we got the final results here, and this is about on par with the ThinkPad P14S Generation 1. Or the um, Think Center M75Q1. All right, so first up, let's try out some Grand Theft Auto. Y'all better get up there and bake me some chicken tendies, ladies. I got 31 frames per second. Everything's feeling all right. It's looking pretty good, but uh, of course, we're not using the full screen. That's usually what happens when it comes to the Intel HD graphics. Next up, let's take a look at Fortnite. Okay, so our settings have been auto set at 120 frames per second. Um, 3D resolution at 66%. And as you can see, most other things being put on low for some reason. Okay. Oh wow, okay, so I'm trying to play this in performance mode, but uh, I'm definitely getting some issues. It looks like the frames per second are going anywhere from 25 to 30. Okay, so trying again. This time I got uh, 30 frames per second max. Everything's set on low except I have medium sight range. So I can only see people at a medium difference. Everything's definitely looking very choppy. I am definitely getting a lot of uh, frame loss. And uh, yeah, it's definitely not the best thing for Fortnite, it looks like. It should be said that my connection definitely is hardwired, but I'm getting a lot of frame drops. So you got to have this thing at your very minimum and you might be able to play it without frame drops. Now it should be said that playing in game seems pretty good but I had uh, an enemy down my crosshairs and my I, I skipped a few frames and I came back dead. That's just life my guys. Now the only true question that true gamers want to know is will it play Doom and heck yeah it will. You know if you put this thing on Nightmare, the guys go faster, eh? Man, I love the infighting in this game. Never get old. It'll never get old. 
All right, so this is what this lovely lady looks like when you take the top off. You can see at the bottom left, we have a, a space for a SATA drive. They have a dummy drive in there, but you can't use it, of course. And then above that, we have the M.2 card. They got a heat shield over top of that to keep it nice and cool. It, I'm really thinking that these are hard drives that you have to put a heat shield or something over top of because, man, they get really hot if you don't. Up north a bit here, of course, we get uh, the CPU, the spot where the GPU would have been, and the heat pipe that goes over to the uh, the CPU fan. We have the wireless card. As you can see, we have a single spot for RAM, and then there we got the big old battery. I can show you the sides a little bit more now. Yeah, you see USB, USB, USB-C power, and HDMI. And then we got the headset out. Not a whole lot going on in the back on this unit. Over on the right hand side we got that lock port, we got the uh, ethernet port, and we got another USB. Look at how small and cute that speaker is. I love how they do that. So yeah, it's definitely good for Office stuff, for Microsoft Office, Facebook, YouTube, all that fun stuff. But if you're trying to get some serious gaming going, you're going to want something that has a dedicated GPU on it. This might not be what you're looking for, but will it get you through school? This thing will absolutely get you through school. And you might want to check it out. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech. But like and subscribe if I've helped you out. It's always appreciated. And as always, folks, take care of each other.